Okay, I've come back to with my gloves. This is how I do it. Works for me. Remember, this is loose. So maybe just test that all the time. Get used to it. Pull it out. And I put it right on that towel. That's why that towel is like dripping. Save myself time. I don't have to dry it off. I just stick it on the wet t the towel. It'll be, it will be wet soon. Then I tighten this up completely because I've got now product and I want to homogenize the mixture and the heat. And make sure that the bottom's not too hot. I touch it with my hand, you know, because it's too hot. I got too much heat on it. So that's basically what it is. You don't have to shake it a lot. You don't shake it violently. You just want to basically give the uh, water a chance to work its way around. When you're done, put it down again, loosen it, and it will quite often, especially when it's a little hotter, it will actually uh, you'll bleed off uh, pressure when you loosen it again, as soon as you uh, pick it up. And you see where that product is right there? As I put it down, that product is right exactly where the top of the water is. So I'll just stick a little more water in here. And prepare for when I need more. Now what I'm doing here with these tapes, very rough tapes, I'm providing uh, my back with reasons to get out. <laughs> I'm old. Anyway, um, I'm trying to get together some rough material, some tapes and stuff like that. I'm wearing sunglasses, by the way. I'm because I give a shit about my identity. I don't. I've seen people make the tapes like this and they wear sunglasses and masks. <laughs> I, I, I can understand why. <coughs> In North America, we're run by Nazis, basically. With respect to marijuana, certainly they didn't like to act like Nazis. Anyway, my name is Dennis Fletcher from Calgary. Hi, everyone. I, am, uh, I have met, uh, multiple sclerosis. I ingest medical marijuana. Um, I've applied for my license. I don't have my license yet, so I'm technically breaking the law. But that license that gives me the right to utilize medical marijuana is a license that recognizes an existing right that I have. That's a fact. Think about it. If you're born, you get a birth certificate. Does that mean you? Did the birth certificate make you born, or did you born give you the right to have a birth certificate? The birth certificate recognizes a right you already have, or an existence that you already have medical marijuana, the right to use medical marijuana is section 7 under the charter. It's an existing right. In American law, they call it um, inalienable rights. We don't call it that here, but you certainly know what inalienable rights is. It's centric to popular culture. It's a right. I have a right to breathe. You don't have to give me a little piece of paper saying Dennis has the right to breathe. That's essentially the same thing. So, <clears throat> what I'm doing here is I'm learning how to ingest marijuana safely. I have a scientific mind. I'm legally trained. I'm a, a lawyer. Uh, retired now, obviously. I retired um, so I got sick. And um, I live here in Calgary. I, uh, I'm not a dealer. Uh, I'm not a druggie. I don't drink. I haven't drank in over 16 years. I don't party. Well, I party sometimes, but not like... This, this idea that people who smoke marijuana are some kind of evil... I mean, the kill the weed idea went out with that 1930 movie. Let's get, uh, get over it. There are some of us here who smoke weed because we like it. They're called recreational marijuana users. How about her? There are some of us who smoke weed because we have to. And we take weed because we have to to deal with pain that the pharmacological industry has been unable to deal with. So that's what we're doing. What I'm doing here is I'm just putting together, I've got to do this anyway, this is my stuff here, and I'm kind of like fireside chat. If you hang with me and wait around long enough, you'll learn how to do this stuff. If, you, uh, if you're <laughs> bored enough to listen to me. If you, uh, if you want to wait for a year or so, I'll have some professionally edited tapes that will actually show you this stuff in an organized fashion. Right now I'm just trying to get my damn uh, half pound of purple haze uh, processed in some way to, so I can ingest it. I don't like smoking. I don't like smoking. Anyway. 
So I want to talk about smoking because I've said a lot of things about it. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just stop.